Yo, what's up? It's Ada, the president, back to you with another NBA 2K23 My Team video. Today, I'm gonna be going over the method that I use to get this Galaxy Opal Mike Bantam. I say method like that because there's really not a method. It's just what I did to get him. I got the card quicker than a lot. I've seen a lot of other people. And at the end of the day, it's RNG. You never know he's he, when he's gonna pop up, when he's not. But this is what worked for me, so I figured I'd share it. Shout out to my dog, Bio2K. He just dropped a video showing his version of how he did it. So I was like, you know what? I'll show mine a lot of people have been asking me since they saw that i got the card so i figured why not share it with everybody because everybody wants this card he's a six nine small forward power forward that can do everything good animations good attributes everywhere and he gets a dynamic duo with another rng card um galaxy opal billy knight and a dynamic duo to uh dark matter so you can see why people want the card they go they get like 30 badges when you get the duo and it's actually a duo that you can run a lot of time 2k puts duos on players and it's like i have no desire to run one of those cards so this one actually is a good one hype about it and i'm glad i got this one so yeah i'm gonna just go over how i got the card um a lot of people like to play triple threat to get this because that's what they advertise like they said this is where he's going to be and as you see he's at the top board the reason why i don't recommend this way of getting the card is because at the end of the day like you see i don't have a game played right now i would have to play seven games to get to the top board and then the last three games you have to hope that the card is up there and if you've been playing my team for the last few years you know that there's no guarantee it's you see it says chance to win there's no guarantee that that card is going to be up there i've gone i've played i've actually i mean i've played like three boards of this already i just you know started back over um and he wasn't up there only one time the cosmic pack was up there and i didn't even get that so you can only hope that he's up there after winning seven games and then you have to get him within the ball drops and the ball like i've seen the ball bounce into a spot and fly out of it so there's no guarantee that even if you see him on the board that you're going to get him and i heard that the ball drop method if you know you know i heard that's been patched so you're stuck with just dropping three balls and hoping that you get the card so i don't recommend doing triple threat because at the end of the day you might match up with just a super sweat over and over and over so i just don't recommend doing that one um, a lot of people like to do triple threat uh, co-op, which is cool. You know, you get to play with some one of your friends or two of your friends, maybe just some randoms. You know, you could go on Twitter. If you don't have anyone to play with, just go on Twitter and say, hey, anybody trying to run some co-op? Someone will respond. And um, this is a good method because I have seen a lot of people get it. Um, and you get these rewards on the side. The reason why I didn't do this method is because as well, I don't want to like I don't want to lose this game depending on someone else. So I guess if you match if you get people to run co-op with you, hopefully you're getting people that you know you can play with and that know how to play the game in this current state. You know, I I just if we lose and we don't get the card, I'm just going to be irritated. And you know, I I'm living on the East Coast. You might have somebody that wants to play on the West. The the it could lag like I played with people on co-op and it lags sometimes. So I just don't this isn't my method but people have gotten it i've seen people get it um shout out to my dog matt mojo he got his mike bantam and the your teammates also get the card too so that's dope but it, he was streaming for like eight hours you know so that should just i don't know how many games that exactly was but he streamed for like eight hours the other day and then they eventually got the card which is a dub but i chose not to go that route what i did is went to my favorite clutch time online you can just look i mean based off of you know i've played two i've won 215 unlimited games total and you know i've like in triple threat i've played 117 and lost 47 so you know i play like 150 games and clutch time you can see i play clutch time a lot that's over 800 games <laughs> like i play clutch time a lot because i just like it it's fast paced five minute quarter and if you tie you go to overtime and the first bucket to you know first bucket in overtime wins I like doing clutch time and the card is actually my bantam is on the wheel so i figured you know with triple threat online you have to win seven games and hope that he's at the top board with co-op you have to beat out three other sweats while also playing with two other people that you may not be familiar with playing and then hope that the card comes here same with this you have to win but you as you can see the record i win quite a lot on clutch time 
you have to win the game but at least every single game there's a chance the only time you don't get a wheel spin is when it lands like on the prize so you see where it says 50 wins for the pink diamond jalen green you won't get a wheel spin for it. you just get the prize but um yeah this is what i did i figured this had the best odds you get a chance to get the card every single win and it says i'm at 43 that's just because i've been playing i streamed last night i got him at 35 wins so it only took me 35 games and five minute quarters 35 games you can do the math on that but a lot of those games are rage quits too that's one thing i noticed about clutch time as opposed to like triple threat people aren't a lot of people don't people quit on triple threat online but in co-op people don't just rage quit and that much on here i mean you go up 10 points in clutch time usually they're gonna quit most time people quit it's just a five minute quarter it's not unlimited people don't flip out over it so but yeah i played 35 games i mean and that's not in one day like starting since friday but yesterday i played maybe 10 and i was able to get the card and um yeah that's just what i did it worked for me so i figured i should share it you know there's no foolproof method you can try it you don't get it don't blame me but like hey you said this worked i didn't say it worked 100 percent. i'm just saying for me this is what worked and i feel like it took me less time 36 games compared to you know like i said matt mojo stream for eight hours and i don't know how long that took and then triple threat going up seven games hoping that it's up there he's not up there then starting over starting over starting over triple threat co-op waiting for your teammates hopefully there's no lag hopefully you're not running into three other sweats the whole time so Hey, do what you want. This is what worked for me. Figured I should share it. Uh, let me know if it does work for you um, and how many games it took, you know, so I can just, I just want to see if anybody else has got it. But uh, yeah, that's going to be it for me, man. Um, hopefully you guys try this out. Maybe you'll get the card and hopefully you do because he's a really good card and I'm going to try to drop a gameplay with him here soon. But that's going to be it for me, man. Eight of the president. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe and I'm out.